What is up, YouTube? Okay, before I get started, I was in Academy today and I was walking through the barbecue aisle and I saw this. It's a cover for their smokehouse. And I've been hoping they would come out with something like this and uh, I just happened to be in Academy and there it was. They have uh, covers for all of the uh, smokers that they carry. Wrangler, Pecos, Over and Under. Uh, I didn't see one for the Catalina, I think it's called. And uh, of course they have this one. So I can finally cover this thing up and put it outside so it doesn't take up all of my garage space. So I'm going to do a cook. It's going to be a short, maybe three, four hour top cook. But I just wanted to point out what's going on. So this basket is warped. And I guess that's to be expected. You know, it's not a uh, heavy duty, thick steel. Um, but the bolts are still in place. This is after four cooks. If you can see it here. You can see how it's warped pretty bad, but it's still holding up. And the same thing for the uh, the grate here. I actually had to take it out, turn it upside down, and stand on it and bend it back as straight as I possibly could because it was it was like completely buckled down. But I got it back as straight as I could. And it'll do for now until I uh, get a replacement or modify the uh, charcoal grate somehow. All right, so yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a short cook sausage, chicken, leg and thigh quarters, uh, hot dogs, country style ribs, thick cut pork chops, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. What's up everybody? All right, so it is time to put some food onto the smoker. First thing I'm gonna do is clean off the grates. They aren't like crudded with, with food or anything, but I clean them off before each use. And then on the top, I'll scrape it off. Sometimes you get like some flaking going on. But other than that, it'll be another showcase of the old country barbecue pits. Smokehouse is what they call it. From what I saw on the uh, packaging of the cover and from what I've seen around on the internet. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing, uh, get a fire going. See how it's all warped and out of shape. It still works, still gets the job done. So I'm gonna get it loaded up with some fire and uh, get this smoking going on. It's gonna be a quick one today, guys. My fire basket is not even full. Uh, I did put a few small pieces of mesquite chunks in there because I'm doing a hamburger. And I got one piece of hickory right on top. And over here I have my lump charcoal getting started in the uh, charcoal chimney. So once these get white, ashed over, I'll go ahead and dump it onto the uh, charcoal basket and wait for the temperatures to rise. So there's the coals. You know, I can't hold a, the camera phone and dump it in at the same time, but there's the, uh, the hot coals on top of the the hickory log and all the other unlit coals and I'm just gonna slide it in like that and wait for everything to warm up I don't put the grates in yet uh, I wait for it to warm up so none of this nasty dirty smoke gets on the grates and you also want to if you have one of these you want to clean out your water pan because 
all the grease drippings will accumulate inside the pan and uh, make it a little nasty. I should have kept the door closed because some of the ash from when I was dumping the, uh, the lit coals kind of flew around on the inside of the cooking chamber. But it's okay because the grates aren't in there. So we're going to wait for all the smoke to die down. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the meat on and we'll be back. Here is what I think about this smoker after owning it for a year. I got it last year, June, uh, for $6.99 plus tax. I really don't have any complaints about it. Uh, just some minor gripes with the firebox. Uh, great issue, which is all easily remedied. Um, but they have that kind of grate on all of the old country barbecue pits, which I think they need to redo to allow more airflow. Uh, I do have a little bit of rust over here on the side table. Not sure how that came about because I keep this indoors, but that's an easy fix. Uh, everything else looked good. You know, I never really had to use the, uh, the drain valve unless I'm rinsing it out with water, but uh, I haven't done that yet. Still no leaks from either side of the chamber. And I'd say it's been holding up well. Now I, I do keep this in the garage and that's because I didn't have a cover for it. But uh, now that I have a cover, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it outside in the backyard so I can free up some space in the garage. <laughs> Stupid bug. Okay, anyway. For today's go. quick cook, we have garlic sausage, regular kielbasa. This is thick cut pork chops, only two of them. I was gonna stuff them, but once I slice into them, uh, there just isn't enough room to stuff anything in there. These are the country style ribs. That's my eight ounce patty and some jerk chicken. So I'm gonna cook these hot and fast or as hot as I can get it without you know, causing a fire. I want some hot dogs. And then uh, I'm gonna finish them off on the grill. Those are definitely going on the grill. That's definitely going on the grill. Pretty much everything's gonna go on the grill to finish off except for maybe the hot dogs. I don't know, we'll see. So everything's on the grill, smoker. I'm not concerned with the temperature because none of these food items are going to be long, slow smoking items. So I don't care if it gets hot. We got the uh, country style ribs, thick cut pork chop, hamburger, Hot dog sausage, jerk chicken. No smoke coming out of here, but I'm gonna add a uh, I'm gonna add a chunk of hickory to it, get a little bit more smoke flavor going on. All right, I will be back when these are almost done. Another thing I like about this smoker is the uh, cooking capacity. I think it's uh, 1,200 square inch of cooking capacity. And it doesn't take up a, a lot of space. Whereas your traditional uh, horizontal type smoker, you know, it's pretty long, takes up a lot of space wherever you put it. And, uh, not that there's anything wrong with it. You know, I can cook a lot of food or a little bit of food, and I don't use any more charcoal or wood than I would have when I had my uh, old country pecos. And uh, so, yeah. So let's take a look, see what's going on. Yeah, everything's looking all right. 
I did refill the water pan and instead of the chunk I added a, a hickory log because the coals were burning down so I just threw the log on there to keep it going all right we'll be back everything's almost done or I should say done on the smoker and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the smaller cuts of meat like the sausage and the burgers and I'm gonna just let them char on that grill I have going right there and then I'll come back and get the uh, mm, chicken and then the pork on top because the pork still can the pork can stay on the smoker longer than the others all right so let's get that done here we have the sausage and hot dogs they're just getting that uh, grilled flavor added to it those hot dogs are done but it's okay it's for my personal use I was thinking you know I was making all this meat like I normally do and I didn't have any vegetables and I remembered I had some frozen corn that I wanted to smoke and there it is so I got the corn on there now only thing left is the jerk chicken and there's the pork chop and the uh, country style ribs so I better close this up before they burn and there you have it all the meat is off of the smoker just gonna leave the corn on there uh, I did have to take this log out because I don't need it anymore so I'm gonna let it sit out here on the concrete and cool off meanwhile the jerk chicken will finish on the grill and then that'll be it so again I have uh, nothing but good things to say about this old country vertical smoker not saying the uh, horizontal ones are bad I did have the Pecos but uh, I like this one better it takes up less space it has more cooking capacity it holds the heat in just as well as the other ones do and uh, it uses less fuel I think compared to when I was using the Pecos so uh, I will let this chicken finish and then I'll show you guys the final product what I have here in my hand are allspice berries they come from the pimento tree in Jamaica and since we don't have pimento trees here this is going to be the next best thing so what I do is I throw some of these on the charcoal and it will burn and smoke off and replicate that pimento wood flavor as best as it can Let's see if I can do this with And there you have it. Here is the final shebang. I put the corn on the grill after a little while. Speed that along. Came out great. Jerk chicken is done. Country style ribs. Got some barbecue sauce on it. Stick cut pork chops, hot dogs, sausage. And that's the garlic sausage in the back that I think I'm going to cut up and put into the uh, spaghetti sauce over there see how that comes out all right thank you for watching I hope you liked it the old country vertical smokehouse smoker and that's all the ash that's left behind I don't get much uh, ash with the lump hardwood charcoal compared to the regular charcoal briquettes very little so I'll be using hardwood lump charcoal for as long as I can buy it so the whole cook took about two hours, start to finish, and that was perfect timing. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.